In Kirby and the Forgotten Land, there's a new feature. With the help of the crafty weapon shop Waddle Dee and a couple of her stones, every single copy ability in the game can be evolved. Unfortunately, Kirby and the Forgotten Land only has 12 copy abilities. While there are over 60 copy abilities in the entire Kirby franchise. So, why stop at 12? Why not give almost every single copy ability 3 evolutions? including an entire moveset for the new 3D environment Kirby has been sucked into. Hello everyone, I'm Dexys and welcome to Kirby's Forgotten Abilities, a series where I will be making blueprints for Kirby's copy abilities that didn't make it into the Forgotten Land. First off, we have the very first ability and origin of all, Beam. The moves returning with this ability are Beam Whip, Cycle Beam, Beam Blast, and Wave Beam. There is no need to update the inputs of this ability, since when adapted to 3D it all stays the same. Which just makes me wonder even more as to why this ability wasn't in Kirby and the Forgotten Land in the first place. Beam's first evolution is Divergent Beam. As the name suggests, the beam diverges, meaning that it splits off from an initial point and travels towards opposing sides. Which is what Kirby's Bending Beam does with this evolution. The beam and its hitbox splits up and spreads horizontally throughout the attack giving every single attack more horizontal range. Its second evolution is Atom Beam. Here, every attack gets even more beam whips, going from the 2 in Divergent Beam to 6 with Atom Beam, since now the beam attacks form the shape of an atom, essentially giving every attack more horizontal and vertical range. Finishing off with Beam's evolutions, we have Crackle Beam, where Kirby takes the powers of the Ancient Ruler of the Skies. The attacks get an overhaul with this ability, alongside them reaching a bigger distance. Beam Whip has Kirby attack with two Beam Whips that spin around Kirby horizontally, just like Crackle's classic attack. Cycle Beam is more like its original attack from Kirby Superstar. Its range is insane. Wave Beam has Kirby create smaller Crackles. The type of Crackle depends on how long the attack is charged for. At its weakest charge, it releases little Crackles who just fly forwards quickly, with a bit of an electric aura around them. Its second charge is Crackle Jr., who just like Lil Crackles fly forwards, but fly slower. They also have the electric aura, and have their cloud balls spinning around them quickly, which cause more damage. And finally, for its third charge, we get a small Crackle, which rather than flying in a straight line, flies on its own, traveling towards any near enemy while stopping to rain directly under it. Beam Blast has Kirby create thunder all around him. While it doesn't have as much range as it does in other evolutions, it does cause much more damage. Next up is the floaty, shummy, and protecting Parasol. The moves returning with this ability are Parasol Swing, Parasol Shield, Parasol Drill, and Parasol Dive. Without forgetting of, of course, Parasol Drift. Parasol Swing, Parasol Shield, Parasol Drill, and Parasol Drift are performed as usual. Press B for Parasol Swing, hold B for Parasol Shield, and jump from a high distance for Parasol Drift. However, Parasol Dive needs a new input to be performed, since Down is no longer viable in this new dimension. So now, to perform Parasol Dive, you have to hold B in midair. While Parasol Drift doesn't need to change its starting input, it does need to update its cancelling input. To cancel a move, you used to just have to press Down. But again, that's not viable in the third dimension. Therefore, to cancel the attack, now all you have to do is quickly shield. You can also just do an attack or press A to start floating instead. Parasol's first evolution is Bubble Parasol, inspired by the Waddle Dee's Parasol in Kirby Battle Royale. Kirby shoots a bubble of water at the climax of every attack. For sliding attacks like Parasol Drill, Parasol Dive, and Parasol Drift, behind them through their trajectory. Its second evolution is Paper Parasol. Here, Kirby's Parasol is two times as big, and has some ribbons attached to the parasol. These give the attacks more range, that being forwards range for Parasol Swing, and backwards range for Parasol Shield, Parasol Drill, and Parasol Dive. Additionally, Kirby drops from 3 to 5 tiny paper parasol picks around him during every attack. In front of themselves during parasol swing, behind themselves during the start of a parasol drill, and around the parasol itself in parasol shield, parasol dive, and parasol drift. Finishing off with parasol's evolutions, we have Wispy Parasol, where Kirby takes the powers of the Elder King of the Forest. Instead of holding the parasol on his hand, Kirby instead wears a parasol hat, which mimics Wispy's leaf crown. Thus, Kirby cannot do many attacks normally. With Parasol Swing, Kirby instead does Apple Drop, in which Kirby bops his head forwards and drops big apples towards that direction, which keeps bouncing forwards from that trajectory. For Parasol Shield and Parasol Drill, Kirby instead covers himself with fruits that form a shape similar to Wispy Wood's trunk. Not only that, 
but he shakes the parasol foliage to drop small bouncing apples constantly around him in random directions. For parasol dive, Kirby also shields themselves with the makeshift trunks, and then slams down the ground right under him. Before dropping down, Kirby pops five small bouncing apples all around them. For parasol drift, Kirby's parasol hat grows twice as big as usual and drops floating leaves around him, that causing flinching damage to any enemy that gets hit by them. And now we have the fun bouncing ball. Ball works just like it did in Kirby's Adventure. Press B for ball change, press B in ball form to change back to normal, and hold A in ball form to perform ball bounce. When moving around in ball form, Kirby rolls, meaning that he has a little bit of a slippery effect throughout his moves. Bouncing his ball is Kirby's main form of attack. Ball Kirby also has two new moves, the first of which is Ball Putt, which you do by holding B as normal Kirby. In this move, Kirby is launched forwards with an upwards angle and turns into a ball. The longer you hold the B button for, the further and the lower Kirby will be launched. The quicker you release the B button for, the closer and higher Kirby will be launched. This attack has the same property as Bounce, so you can hold A after this attack to keep bouncing higher. And if you hold B while Kirby is a ball, they will perform Ball Dash, in which Kirby quickly rolls up and ramps into opponents to deal damage. When normally hitting an enemy, Kirby rebounds off them, but when defeating an enemy, Kirby plows through them instead. Ball's first evolution is Sports Ball. With this evolution, Kirby's ball form gets random variations, those being based on the most iconic balls in sports. Basketball, Soccer Ball, Tennis Ball, Volleyball, Golf Ball, and a Football. The basketball lets you bounce higher, but you move around slower while bouncing. The soccer ball lets you move around quicker while bouncing, but doesn't bounce as high. The volleyball is very floaty and barely bounces. It's the slowest ball, but the easiest to control. The tennis ball is very speedy and bounces very high, not to mention that it's smaller than the other balls. It's the fastest ball in the bunch, but this makes it harder to control. The golf ball is like the tennis ball, very tiny and very speedy. However, it doesn't bounce that high. The football is the goofy one. This ball's movement and height is all over the place, all determined by the side and direction it bounces from. If it bounces while the ball is vertical, the ball's height is very limited. If the ball bounces while it's horizontal, the ball's height is very large. The speed and direction of the bounce is also determined by the direction the ball bounces from. Overall, this is the most annoying ball to control, but it makes for a fun challenge. Kirby's second evolution is Rubber Band Ball. There's no extreme gimmick for this evolution like for Sports Ball. This ball is just like the first evolution of Ball, except stronger. With every bounce, the Rubber Band Ball gets added one rubber band, which makes it just a little bit bigger. The more you bounce, the bigger the ball gets. Not only that, but with every bounce, Kirby also launches a couple of rubber bands around him. He also does this when he performs Ball Dash. Ball's final evolution is Drossia Ball. Ball Change has Kirby turn into a splishy paintball, similar to Drossia's soul. In this form, moves like bouncing, dashing, and change back have him spread harmful paint drops all around him. Ball Put has Kirby be launched alongside two other balls, those being fireballs. The more they bounce, the stronger they get, until they bounce for a third time and explode. You have no control over the direction of these balls, other than they are originally launched in parallel to Kirby. Kirby creates paint spikes that grow where he lands while bouncing. The higher Kirby bounces, the bigger the paint spike is. When you shield as Kirby, Kirby covers himself with a mirror shield, which doesn't reflect anything but nullifies it. And while shielding, you have access to a new move, Power Paintbrush. When shielding, Kirby pulls out the magic paintbrush from Kirby's canvas curse and gets to move it around with the direction stick. When pressing B, you perform Paintbrush Flick, which as the name suggests, makes the paintbrush do a flick, causing a bit of damage in front of it. However, the real fun part of this new move is done when you hold B. This attack is Rainbow Path. Here, the magic paintbrush begins to paint where it stands. While holding B, you can move the paintbrush and paint a rainbow path. In the origin game, Kirby's Canvas Curse, there is a limit to how long you paint for. This path doesn't cause any damage, but it does act like a wall or conveyor belt for enemies that interact with it. Once you release the B button, the paintbrush stops painting, and once you let go of the shield button, the paintbrush disappears. Kirby is able to interact with this rainbow path before it vanishes after a couple of seconds. Normal Kirby interacts with it like any other enemy does, but ball form Kirby sticks to the path and follows it until it finishes writing it. And just like that, three more of Kirby's forgotten abilities have been given evolutions. You can choose one of the next abilities by becoming a supporter over at Patreon. Speaking of supporters, special thanks to Sonico, Mikkel, and my other Patreons. Genuinely, thank you a lot for your support. 
to everyone else, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to look forward to the next Kirby's Forgotten Abilities episodes. Have a great day! Bye!